X4 is a dumbbells workout with three main goals. Number one, we're gonna master the dumbbell training basics. Number two, we're gonna fix imbalances between sides. And number three, we're gonna actually really strengthen the core with asymmetrical one-sided loading. In terms of loading, start with a 10 to 25 pound bell for the split curl to press, bare row and kneeling carry. Use a 25 to 50 pound bell for the one arm box squat and hip hinge. If you're a smaller individual or you're new to training, lean on the lighter end of those ranges. In terms of breathing for all exercises besides the kneeling carry, I want you to inhale through the nose, going down, and exhale through the mouth, going up. The one arm split curl to press builds your arms and shoulders and improves hip mobility. I want you to focus on using a hammer grip, palms facing the body, exhale going up through the mouth. Inhale through the nose going down. You wanna make this harder? Yes, you do! I want you to just do a hover hold for both variations, balance a glass of water on your head. This will crush your quads and challenge your balance more. The one arm bare row is a delicious back, abs, and shoulders exercise. Here's what you need to know. First of all, support hands, you gotta drive that puppy underground. I want you to keep your hips and shoulders square to the ground. The arms should form a 90 degree angle at the top of the exercise. Exhale through the mouth going up. <sighs> Inhale through the nose going down. Make it harder by elevating the knees. Now we've got more balance challenge and the quads are gonna be sizzling. If it bothers your wrist, use a slant board to elevate the heel of your hand. And if you want to increase the wrist stretch, elevate your fingers. The one arm kneeling carry is an amazing exercise to level your pelvis and improve core, hip, and shoulder stability. I want you to mix between the inhale through the nose and an exhale through the mouth each step. And Make it harder by going from hip level to shoulder level to overhead. The one arm hip hinge is a great exercise to target the glutes, high hamstrings, and build the entire backside of your body. I want you to keep the knees soft. I want you to slide the weight right down your body, only going as low as you can while keeping a slight natural arc in the lower back. And actually want you to put your hand on the small of your lower back to not only stretch the chest and front shoulder of that side, but to feel if you start to do this, which we don't want to do is round. Keep it nice and tight. We're going to inhale down, exhale up. And you can actually increase the hip and ankle mobility benefits by elevating your toes on a slant board. The box squat is an awesome exercise to build your entire lower body, auto-correct your squat mechanics, and take pressure off your back and your knees. Now you wanna make sure you set the box height where your top thighs are approximately parallel to the floor. We're going to exhale up to the mouth, inhale down through the nose. If you wanna target your lower quads more and increase the range of motion through the knee and the hip, elevate your heels on a slant board. Uncle Baby Biscuits wants you to have an amazing workout. Remember, you're done in 20 minutes and make your post-workout report in the comment section below. I'm horny. Go. Halfway.
halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go.
halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go.
halfway. 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 Halfway.
halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. 